me the name of your film. Ephemeral. Ephemeral. What is it about? Ephemeral tells the story of a psychiatrist, Sydney Garland, who works 9 to 5 like anyone else. And one night she stays in longer uh, at the office. And just so it happens that a gunned man walks in with an unknown wand. We don't know what he wants from her. And it's mostly a conversation between the two, between four walls, and we get to see how two people that are so separate yet have some kind of connection. And it tells a story of uh, people not being defined by what we first think of them, but their background. And you know, there are no villains or heroes in this life, it's just different perspectives. That was a great tagline. There are no heroes or villains <laughs> in this life. Everybody's just trying to get along. Right, exactly. So what did you want the audience to walk away with after watching this? Exactly that. That, you know, whenever you meet someone and you have these judgmental or, you know, pre-made images of whoever you meet, just take a step back and, you know, realize that they have a background and they have circumstances they've been through that make them who they are. Absolutely. They're all people. My goodness, okay, so you're the writer-director, but how many people did you have on your cast and crew working with you on this? This was, um, wow, this was a small, you know, three overnight days shoot. Um, the best kind. The best kind, you know, because we got so tight, but we were probably like 15, maybe, crew, and then two cast members, and then a bunch of extras. That's amazing. Yeah. So since you're here, you're here by yourself representing the film? Yes, today I am. Do you have anybody you want to say thank you to? This is well, your people. I want to say thank you to everyone who was involved and made this movie happen and really serve as my first official movie. And of course, my parents and family, who's, which is super cliche, but they've done everything for me and they still support me. So.